Hello, Oz Dusselet here with Datascopic, and I'm sharing with you an inventory control system that I recently created. One, to show you what Excel can do, and to show you some of the things that have to go into thinking about the development of something that's accurate and responsible. Um, because, you know, laying this out and getting the math right is easy, but there are some other things that we have to think about, and I will take you through those. And first, before we get started, let me say to the database people that I know Excel is not a database, and we were not trying to create a database. Um, for what we were doing and the budget that we had, this works. All right, we're just dealing with tools here and had a formal database been required then we would have done that but this works for the situation we were in all right so first of all we want to have some uh, we just got some donations in okay so um, let's say that we got a bedroom top sheet and notice we have dependent drop down boxes let's go over here and choose kitchen ah okay garbage can we don't have top sheet um, available when we pull up kitchen okay and with the sheet let's say we got a twin that was plaid and we got five and kitchen garbage cans we got a medium size it was metal and we received two and we received them on the 28th of November 28th of November okay and we use drop down boxes to control. Let's say Franklin did this. Okay, we're controlling who entered so that we don't have typos or anything wild going on. So let's try to put something different. Say, um, okay, I tried to put Freddie, it won't work. Okay, so it puts Franklin, all right date entered so let's say that we entered on 16 june of 1985 nope it won't take it all right so let's put something that does make sense one december 12 one december 12. okay now let's take out the um let's take out the amount here and then try to enter Please complete our clear entry two. Okay, it is not going to accept something that is incomplete. And what's incomplete here is the amount that we um, that we have just received as a donation. So let's say we received uh, three as a donation. Okay, now let's put it in inventory. Okay, is it there? Franklin, Franklin, top sheet, plaid, three metal garbage cans. Okay, we're all good. Now, the out and notice, I can't touch any of these cells. This is protected to um, guard against accidental corruption. Similar here, you can touch these cells, okay? But if you try to go say down 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 it goes up go here it won't allow you to go where you're not supposed to be okay outgoing let's see let's see if I can get a DVD player no there's no DVD players there but I'm gonna try anyway but I want one DVD player no, it says I don't have a DVD player in stock, so I cannot get it. it it's not going to let me go any further. Let me try to enter. 
please complete. No, it won't allow it. Like that means no DVD player for me today. It's in the bathroom. Can I get a soap dispenser? Okay, so it says there are 10 in stock. I want 15. No. All right, really. So I just want two, want two soap dispensers. It allows that. Requested by Oz for uh, St. Cloud. And uh, I took that on 1 December 12. And it was processed by Curtis. Okay, let's see. Let's remove it from inventory. Okay, go down. Soap dispenser took two out. Oz did. Processed by Curtis. So we are all set. And again, the cells are protected to guard against accidental corruption. There is a space for a logo. Everything is locked down. And so we're good. It serves the purpose that we needed and again there are a lot of layers to consider here where can it get broken um, how do you prevent a person from requesting items that are don't exist in inventory or there aren't enough you know, we've got the required field set and if a person doesn't enter a required field then everything stops lots to think about here many different layers and it is all doable so I hope you appreciate this little inventory system here and um, if you do have any questions please be in touch with me through the blog or through email and I hope to hear from you soon.